everyone and welcome to Variety Varnish. I hope you don't mind the sound of the fan running in the background. I am having a hard time with scents and smells right now and so with what we are going to do today I need it on uh, so I can you know continue doing what I'm doing but yeah I hope it's not going to be too loud but today I have something new for you guys and this is the H&M plant-based nail color so I have been alerted with this new line by my friend Lacquered Katie I'm gonna link her Instagram down below in the description box and I have been waiting anxiously for this line to come to the US and I finally found it I believe just this month and I immediately grabbed a few to try so as you can see it's not really any different from the bottle the usual H&M bottle that I have right here but it does have this label that says plant-based nail color and I'm gonna just you know put these away for now and I'm gonna of course bring in my favorite yellow <laughs> uh, this says it's plant-based nail color it's a vegan formula even though I've always been under the impression that H&M's previous formulas have been vegan but I guess this is a vegan formula 75% of the formula is of natural origin and 76% of the formula is plant-based now you guys know there are a couple of other brands now that are actually also plant-based um, the most like obvious to me is Barry M's green origin which is I think 100% plant-based I think it's like based in potato or something like that but yeah I have always loved H&M polishes I'm very curious as to what the formula uh, to this plant-based nail polish would be like especially in comparison to you know the regular H&M um, formula uh, it doesn't claim anything really apart from you know it doesn't claim to be a two coater or one coater it doesn't claim to be fast drying so I'm very curious and so what I thought I would do today since I haven't done my nails in literally I think a week or more I am going to do my spring skittle Saturdays Manny with five of these shades and I'm going to apply them uh, on camera for you guys to see so you can actually see how easy it applies and how the formula is and all that stuff so I already have a base coat on I have um, cuticula raspberry sugar mic drop base coat which is another product that I'm trying uh, for the first time tonight and so I'm hoping that you know these are all compatible somewhat and we are gonna go ahead and get started okay so for my thumb I am going to use this shade called pink clay it's kind of like a mauve uh, sort of dusty rose uh, color and so that's what I'm gonna apply on my thumb and I'm gonna show you that right now I really hope that the formula to this oh that's not too bad so as you can see it's the same wide brush that H&M has for their old formulas and look at that that's I could probably even say that's a good one coater and that shade is pink clay now for my pointer finger I'm gonna use this shade called Kaluna very pretty uh, sort of purpley pink although I would have to give you a bottle comparison of uh, this and she's a beauty as you can see she's a beauty is much more lighter and much more sort of purple lilac uh, versus the Kaluna but yeah I can't wait to try this we're gonna do this and then I'm just gonna do my left hand on camera I'm gonna do my um, right hand off camera just you know for the in the interest of time and so let's see okay so this is a little bit of a runnier formula which is expected or maybe it's just my um, application as well um, maybe I put too much on the um, on the brush 
but as you can see I'm definitely just like winging this of course I'm gonna do a good cleanup later but I'm gonna show you that shade that's a pretty shade definitely not a one coater but it's it could also be my nails but that is a very pretty shade and not bad honestly for the first coat and that is Kaluna. And then on my middle finger, I am going to use this beautiful yellow shade called Mimosa. You guys know I love H&M yellows. And so I actually couldn't wait to add this to my um, arsenal of yellows, especially H&M yellows. And it's a pretty de decent yellow, I think. Um, obviously, you can see the streakiness, which is, you know, I've always just come to expect that streakiness from every yellow that I apply. But still, again, I really think that, you know, I don't have a ridge filling base coat, like my go-to ridge filling base coat. I have crazy ridges. It does definitely have that, you know, like streaky spot right there. Um, and so, yeah, I think the second coat might probably fix that. Um, and yeah, that is Mimosa right there. And then for my ring finger, I'm going to use this shade called Cactus. Very pretty green. It's not quite pastel. It's actually more, I think, a seafoam green than anything else. Um, but I'm going to try to do that on my ring finger. So what I'm noticing is that it seems like there's a little bit of an area of separation as I apply these polishes. I don't know if that is something that... Um, you know, I, I, I didn't notice that from the old H&M formulas. It looks like the pigments are separated. Um, the there, I can see some white. I don't know. Um, I don't know if maybe my polishes should be shaken before I apply them. But the thing about it, though, is that, you know, I don't normally shake brand new polishes. But, you know, when you apply them... It doesn't really make a huge difference but I just noticed that there's definitely some sort of like graininess or almost like separation uh, to the formula which doesn't really make it a bad formula it's just you know something curious I don't know if that's something you know related to it being plant-based but yeah that is cactus and it's actually a really pretty green and then for my pinky i'm gonna use this shade very pretty uh shade called forget me not and this is a very very pale sort of powder blue but it has like a purple undertone to it so as you can see like i don't know even in the bottle you can almost see that graininess and like that i don't know how to describe it Again, it's not a deal breaker for me. I think they still apply beautifully. It's just, it's a curious thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's something curious. All right. Ooh. That actually applied beautifully for something so light and white base. I'm actually more impressed with this formula than these three formulas, which is really bizarre. But yeah, that is Forget Me Not. And so this is my, you know, fingers right now. I am going to do my first coat of my right hand off camera. And then I'm going to do the second coat on camera as well because I want to, like, show you if it pulls or, you know what I mean, if, if the polishes pull or whatever, um, how fast they dry. Actually, they're kind of dry now. Like, I'm touching them and they're kind of, you know, they're tacky still, but they're dry. I mean, I could definitely do... A second coat on these already so that is not bad um, I don't think first impressions I don't think they're exactly as good as the uh, previous H&M formulas but then on the other hand it's very hard to judge because I always find it very you know like I I, I I don't normally judge polishes generally as a brand in terms of formula just because it almost always depends on the shades. And these shades 
except for the one on my thumb these are known to be very tricky shades you know they're most of the time when you have these like very white based pastel shades they tend to be streaky and you know difficult to apply are they more difficult to apply than other polishes absolutely not um, and so I'm curious if there is like a more generic color like this pink clay is a more generic color and it applied beautifully in one coat and it's like literally a one coater so you know what I mean like maybe it's the shade and it's not really the formula of all these polishes um, it's very very close to the original but I think definitely I think maybe the the original is a little bit better but yeah i'm gonna do my <laughs> right hand um off camera and then i'm gonna do the second coat of these on camera okay so we're gonna do second coats and i'm gonna try to do it as fast as i possibly can not like as fast but you know just enough to show you guys if there's any running or not running any pulling um from like the first coat these are dry so i'm actually super impressed as to how quickly these dry like by the time i stopped talking uh during like the first part of the video these were already dry so that looked good there was definitely no pulling in that um shade and that's pink clay now already i can tell you it seems that this pink uh, this Kaluna is my least favorite formula among all these five and I don't know why like it's a pink like aren't pinks already like done and overdone like why couldn't you get this right but I don't know that I found this really streaky and I feel like this is going to be a third co uh, a three coater well actually on the second coat it's not bad it actually evened up pretty nicely on the second coat we'll see but man you can really see all my ridges with these creams uh pastels are definitely like my ridges waterloo um normally when I wear pastels like this pastel creams I usually like really get out my um get that that's not bad that's a three coater that yellow is a three coater but that is to be expected but yeah i was saying um normally when i wear these types of creams i always uh use my glisten and glow ridge filler but today i wanted to try out the cuticula to see if i could just wear that alone and obviously the answer is no um the ridge filling uh you know powers of mic drop does not uh is not enough for my mount everest ridges and so yeah let's try this this is my i think this is going to be my second favorite formula after pink clay i think it applies really nicely um that running on my cuticle that's my fault but i think it's like you know fairly opaque i think it's really nice and i like the color actually it's not an awful color uh, I don't normally love seafoam greens, but this is like a deep enough seafoam green that I can tolerate. And this one is a surprise for me. This is Forget Me Not, and uh, it actually applies really nicely. I mean, this is quite the smoothest, like, white-based pale lavender, pale lilac I have ever, ever tried, really, so far. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And so yeah, that is uh, two coats. And like I said, there's no pulling, which I kind of expected because they dried so fast um, for the first coat. And so I think I'm gonna do my right hand and I think I may actually do a third coat on my middle finger, the yellow. I don't think I need a third coat on my pointer. That's a very pretty color. I think I can work with a formula, but it's definitely the least desirable formula among the five that I'm using today. But yeah, so I think the yellow, I'm gonna add a third coat and then I'm gonna do second coats on my uh, right hand and I'm gonna be back with my thoughts. Okay, so this is what my fingers look like right now. Uh, I have a Skittle Manny with the new H&M plant-based nail color 
These are available at the H&M website or if you have the app um, on the app uh, for U.S. customers. I believe H&M does not carry um, nail polish in their stores anymore. And anyway, with the pandemic and all that, I haven't been to an H&M store in forever. But these are definitely available at the website. So I already have, you know, second and third coats on these uh, fingernails and a top coat. I use the uh, Rogue Lacquer Desert Sun uh, top coat and I really like these. So my general thoughts are that um, they are definitely, I think, a little bit trickier than the original H&M formula. Just a tad bit, but it's not a deal breaker at all. Now again, the caveat being is that these are all sort of like lighter pastel colors. And so the you know, those formulas are always trickier than just your generic ones. And so I don't know if, say, for example, they come up with colors in the fall that are more, you know, uh, known to be easy formulas, if they're going to be better. Pink clay was definitely a one coater, almost two coater. But I also have the least ridges on my thumb. Um, I think that if I used my ridge filling base coat, or if you know anyone wants to use this with like perfect nail beds, I think these are very easy two coaters, even the yellow, which I did three coats on. So I'm gonna put you up close. That's how it looks like. So it's not awful. And then of course, like it, you can see on the tip, um, I actually tried to like salvage a nail break there. So, you know, it's, it's very pretty. The colors are very pretty. Um, are they worth it if the colors are unique, which I find that these colors are unique? Absolutely. Um, that's always what I love about H&M polishes. Their colors are super, super unique. Um, I also noticed that the colors dry significantly, well, not significantly, uh, definitely a tad darker than what's in the bottle so as you can see um, right here the bottle is much lighter the yellow is much you know richer and brighter so they look very pastel on the bottle but actually when you apply them um, they become uh, they dry a little bit richer and a little bit darker and so yeah um, even the pink clay right here you can see I don't know if you can see, but there definitely looks like a lot of white in the bottle, which kind of disappears in uh, on the nail. So yeah, uh, formula wise, you know, the wide brush is wonderful. I am very impressed with the way these self leveled, um, you know, really nothing you know, uh, outside of the H&M quality that I have come to know and love. Um, will I buy more? Absolutely. Um, my rule of thumb with H&M polishes is that, you know, if the color is unique, I am definitely getting it. So like, say for example, pink clay, I probably could have done without. It looked very unique in the bottle because of all that white, but it turned out to be just like a very generic color. So I'm probably gonna give that away to you know the old ladies at the nursing home or what have you but the rest of these colors I think they're beautiful they're unique and for these types of colors the formula isn't bad and of course you know if being clean is important to you like in terms of the environment and stuff like that using clean products then the plant-based nail color is definitely a plus. And so, yeah, dry time is also excellent. I mean, you saw that with my first coats. Excellent dry time. And so, yeah, thanks so much for being here with me to chat about anything and everything nail polish. Um, I hope that you, you know, like this new plant-based nail color. Let me know if you have tried any of the H&M lines. Now they have three, they have their regular, and then they have the quick dry in the square bottles. And then now they have these plant-based nail color. Um, let me know if you have tried any of them. Uh, if you do plan on trying, let me know if you have any of the colors here um that attracted you or you know that inspired you 
Um, and yeah, so I hope everyone is having a great weekend and I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead of you and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!